Hey there, science fans. Have you ever seen ice that doesn't melt into water? It just vanishes into thin air, leaving no trace behind. That's dry ice for you, the cool kid on the block. It's the solid form of carbon dioxide, the same gas we breathe out and plants use for photosynthesis. But unlike regular ice, this one likes to play hide-and-seek. One minute it's there, the next it's gone, leaving you wondering where did it go? Dry ice gets its name from this special ability to change directly from a solid to a gas, a process called sublimation. It's like magic, but it's all about science. So buckle up as we unravel the mystery of the disappearing ice and explore the cool science behind dry ice. So how do we make this magical ice that doesn't melt? It all starts with carbon dioxide gas. First, we've got to catch this gas. We can do this by capturing it from industrial processes that produce it as a byproduct. Think big factories or fermentation processes. They're like carbon dioxide factories. Once we have our hands on this gas, we crank up the pressure and cool it down, way down. Imagine a giant refrigerator, but instead of keeping your drinks cold, it's squeezing carbon dioxide gas until it turns into a liquid. And we're not talking about your regular refrigerator temperatures here. We're talking about a bone-chilling minus 78.5 degrees Celsius. That's minus 109.3 degrees Fahrenheit. Now for the final act, making the liquid carbon dioxide solidify. This is like freezing water into ice, but way colder. As we release the pressure, the liquid carbon dioxide rapidly expands and cools down even further, transforming into a solid. Voila, dry ice is born. Now for the grand finale, the disappearing act. Dry ice loves to skip the liquid phase altogether and go straight from solid to gas. This is sublimation in action. Remember those tiny particles that make up everything around us? Well, in solid dry ice, these carbon dioxide molecules are tightly packed together, vibrating in place. But when we heat dry ice, those molecules get super excited and start vibrating faster and faster. Eventually, they break free from their solid form and become a gas, disappearing into the air. It's like a dance party for molecules and they're too cool to hang around in liquid form. This sublimation superpower is what makes dry ice so unique and useful. Because it doesn't melt into a liquid, it doesn't leave behind any messy residue, it simply vanishes into thin air, leaving everything around it dry and clean. That's why it's called dry ice, after all. Dry ice is one cool customer with some seriously cool jobs. It's like the superhero of the industrial world coming to the rescue in preserving food, shipping medical supplies, and even creating special effects in movies. Imagine keeping ice cream cold without melting it or transporting organs for life-saving surgeries. Dry ice makes it possible, but hold your horses, science enthusiasts. While dry ice is super cool, it's important to handle it with care. Remember those extremely low temperatures we talked about? Direct contact with dry ice can cause severe burns like frostbite, so always wear protective gloves when handling it. And because it turns into carbon dioxide gas, always use it in well-ventilated areas to avoid breathing problems. So there you have it, the science behind dry ice, the coolest ice that never melts. It's, it's a fascinating example of how matter can change states and how something as simple as carbon dioxide can have such a wide range of applications. Just remember to handle it with care and always prioritize safety when exploring the cool world of science.